Hey guys, Nick here and welcome back to another video. So obviously I've been playing around with the Amazon Echo Dot for the last couple of days now. So I thought I'd put together a quick video on what I believe are the top five things you guys should do if you have an Amazon Echo or if you plan on picking one up. So let's roll that intro and get into the video. Alright, so tip number one or use number one is I guess one we all know and use lots of things for and that's using the Amazon Echo as an alarm. Most of us use our mobile phones these days as our alarm clock which I don't know if you're anything like me I've got a list of probably like 155 different alarms on my phone set every single day and it's really nice to just be able to shout out and ask Alexa to set an alarm for you. Alexa. Wake me up at 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. Alarm set for 6 a.m. tomorrow. And you can set it obviously for a few days in advance and it works really well. So really simple and really easy to set up. And tip number one obviously is just to use it as an alarm clock. So tip number two is to use Amazon Echo as a reminding device. A reminding device? Using Amazon Echo to remind you of things. Now, I know a lot of us use our phones for that as well, but the best thing that I love about the Echo and Alexa is that you can ask the speaker to remind you to pick up certain things at the shops or to call someone back, and you can push that notification to your phone, which is actually super helpful. Alexa, remind me to buy milk in five minutes. Okay, I'll remind you in five minutes. All right, tip number three actually requires another device and I've mentioned this in one of my Google Home videos, which is the Logitech Harmony Hub. It goes for like $80 on Amazon. I'll leave the link down in the description below. But because Amazon has a native skill for the Logitech Harmony Hub, you can just ask it to turn on the TV, to turn on the Xbox, turn up the volume, and it will just do so. With the Google Home, you have to like give a crazy long phrase like, okay, Google, ask Harmony to turn on the living room TV. No, with Alexa, you can just say, turn on the TV and it will just do it. It's super simple to set up. And obviously the Logitech Harmony Hub gives you the ability to control a lot more devices. They list about 250,000 on their website. So, I mean, if you've got a device that doesn't work with it, then I don't know where you got it from. So setting it up is a breeze and Alexa talks directly to it. Like I said, it's native support, turning the volume up, changing the channel is all super easy and intuitive to use. And I believe, you know, for like 75 bucks, this is a must buy product if you plan on setting your home up with the Amazon Echo or even the Google Home. It still works well with that, but works so much easier with Alexa. Now, tip number four is about Plex. I mentioned this in my first impressions sort of video on the Amazon Echo Dot. And that is the fact that Alexa has native support for Plex in terms of controlling it, which is awesome. My video with Google Home and controlling Plex, you know, that was quite a complicated process in terms of setting up and definitely not consumer friendly. You know, not everyone could get it working because it was quite hard. And you know, you know I love Plex. I've done a few videos on it now. It is how I consume all my media, TV shows, anime, movies, a lot. And having native voice control is awesome. Being able to ask Alexa to play a particular movie or ask it what's on deck and get real time responses and being able to play it you know, setting the Google Home up, it was quite complicated and it took it took me weeks to get working properly. And even then, it was such a hard thing to have work all the time perfectly. Alexa just works every single time. It, setting up is as simple as clicking a button on the app saying enable skill. Like it just links your account straight away, like auto magically, it's crazy. All right guys, and my last tip, tip number five, is being able to control Bluetooth speakers. Now, obviously voice control is a really powerful thing to have in your home. And if you have Bluetooth speakers like I have Sonos speakers set up in the living room. You can send music to it with your voice, which is awesome. So, you know, all you have to do is set up, you know, Google Play Music account, Amazon or Spotify. It doesn't work with Apple Music at the moment, but you know, that makes sense considering it's Amazon. So you can ask Alexa to play whatever type of music, artist, genre, playlist, whatever on your speakers, whatever you've called them and it will start playing music. Sonos has obviously developed an Alexa speaker called the Sonos One. I'll link that down below in the description, which has Alexa built into it. However, if you don't wanna spend money on that speaker because you already have some Sonos devices or an other Bluetooth speakers, you can just use the Dot, which like I said, costs only $50. Really cool and great because you have other people in the house. So, 
you know, you don't have to worry about setting the app up on their phone or anything like that. You just tell them to talk to Alexa, which is, you know, awesome. All right, guys, so there you have it. That was my top five tips for Amazon Alexa or using the Echo Dot in this case. Obviously, there are other speakers available. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button down below. Subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this one. Like I said in my last video, I am planning on doing a direct comparison between Alexa and Google Home here in Australia and how they compare with each other. So, you know, look forward to that. And until the next video, I'll catch you guys later.